This is the final video in the series for the corridor scene. And if you were with me a couple of weeks ago, I asked if you would vote on which of the following images you'd like me to model and texture. Now they're all good images and I would have been happy to do any of them. This was the first one, the, the server room. This was the second one. This was the third one. This was the fourth one, and this is the one that received the most, the most votes. And this one was the fifth one, another, another similar one. All right, so I am now finished, and it has taken me 12 videos to get to this point, and I did some work on the side. So we started off here. This was where I asked you to do the voting, and I didn't know which one I was going to do at the time. It was just called the next project. I eventually decided it was going to be the corridor scene after you gave me your feedback. So that's part one. In part two, we started blocking out the walls and the doors and the cart. In part three, we spent more time on the doors themselves. In part four, I worked on the trash bin and the cart. In part five, I showed you how to do an easy trim along the bottom and the top. May have done a little bit more work on a couple of other things. In part six, I focused on the computer. And then in part seven, we started with the texturing in Substance Painter. Uh, we did the bricks with that neat little trick with the normal maps. In part eight, I worked on the ceiling tiles. In part nine, I worked on the floor tiles. And in part 10, we textured the doors. Part 11, textured the cart and the computer. And then in part 12, I textured the cork board. And like I said, I did a couple of things on the side. So that was the timeline, and I'm going to show you some final renders. First of all, just a reminder that this was all modeled in Blender. It was textured in Substance Painter. I rendered in Cycles a lot of times. I, I render in Eevee, but I did render in Cycles. And I did a little bit of post-processing in the Blender Compositor, a little bit in GIMP and in Topaz Studio. And it's basically the same the same um, workflow that I almost always use. So the corridor scene looks like this. Um, it's not exactly the same as the original, but uh, I've just done my thing and uh, enjoyed doing it. Uh, so here you can see we've got the walls that we created, the ceiling tiles and the floor tiles and the trim. Uh, the overhead lights, the doors, uh, etc. The computer, the, the cart there, and the computer stuff on there. The trash bin. Uh, we've got uh, this thing here. Now uh, I didn't include this in the series, but I did a video on creating normal maps in Blender and then using them in Substance Painter. So that's where that came from. And we got this little light. And the blood splatter. I may talk about that sometime. I did that in GIMP. Uh, I did it very quickly and I didn't spend enough time on making it look more realistic, but it's very easy to do in GIMP. And if you've uh, never seen that, uh, if you just search up, search up uh, blood splatter in GIMP, you could see how they do that. GIMP, of course, is free, so you can create um, that in, in GIMP, save it as a transparent PNG and bring it into Blender. And of course, I've got some papers around on the floor as well. So just running through a few of, of the... Uh, of the renders uh, and the the actual render itself looked very similar to this there's just a little bit of post processing like a little bit of sharpening a little bit of colorizing in curves uh, and that's that's the main stuff that's that's done here okay so just looking through the doors there and this one I desaturated just so you could have a different sort of uh, feel to it so it almost it almost looks like it you're looking through like a, a monitor from from a CCTV camera or something, you know, the way they have cameras in different parts of the room. That gives that effect there. And, uh, you know, really, it's just a, it's a simple scene, so there's not too many angles that I can do stuff at. But this is how it turns out. And then I guess there's a couple of stylized uh, images uh, beyond this. So there's there's nothing really to explain in these images. You pretty much saw me texture uh, all of it. And so... Uh, yeah, just another one. Just, just again, note the cork material because that was my last video, and I uh, was a little bit uh, concerned as I was coming up to that. I kept sort of putting it off, going, "Oh, how am I going to do a cork material?" And uh, 
and, you know, and, and there are a couple of smart materials that you can get, but I really wanted it to make it from scratch if I could and show you how in case you didn't like one of those cork smart materials and, uh, you know, and you wanted to build it yourself and then, like I say, use it for a cork uh, in a bottle or something like this. So, so there's that. All right, so there's that view and just focusing on the lights. There is a little bit of different stuff going on here because uh, while this is an emission uh, done in Substance Painter, there is a gradient added as well. And you may notice it's a little darker here. I wanted that effect where it's darker on the ends and it grows lighter towards the middle. So there's a gradient in there. And if you were to ask me if you wanted to see how I did that, just let me know in the comments and I can talk about that. But there you see the vent uh, over here. And I mean, it's not I extremely realistic. I don't know. Maybe you know. I don't really like extremely realistic. I like the, the computer game look, uh, you know. So I'm just looking for something that looks cool, sci-fi-ish, whatever, and not trying to make it look extremely realistic. But I mean, you know, uh, this plays an important role because it's not like you're walking over like in a sci-fi floor and it's kind of dark and and you don't really care you're just moving along in the game with a static image like this you might spend a bit more time saying i don't know that looks off but i think it i think it turned out really cool so yeah i wanted to focus on the on the ceiling here these ceiling tiles we did that stucco effect i showed you how to do that uh etc all right so there's that and just a couple more i wanted to do one of those uh dark kind of things basically you know uh adding some uh, filter effects and then uh putting a, a sort of a black and white filter it's kind of a special a special hdr kind of one but i i just like that look because it kind of gives that horror kind of look all right so there's that one and uh then there's a close-up of the door looking through and if you do look closely, you're going to see some funny stuff's going on here. And I'm not sure what that is, <laughs> but, but uh, it's too it's too late to do anything about it now. But this is looking from the hallway back into the main hallway. The blood is is there. So this is open right there. So it just looks black, but it kind of looks like a loading dock at night. Maybe if I had some street lights and some stars uh, without even modeling anything else, you could almost it could almost look like that. So that is uh, it. That is it for the corridor scene. We're done. And uh, I think it turned out nice, even though it's a little bit different. And it always is. I'm, I'm not going to try to make it exactly the same. And I couldn't if I wanted to. And I like uh, doing things my own way uh, here and there to just sort of try to, you know, be artistic or creative. So anyways, thank you very much for uh, coming through. If you if you stayed with me throughout this series of 12, you know, 12 videos, that's quite a lot. And I'm going to be turning my attention in the next uh, few days to some uh, smaller projects. And then we will get back to doing this. I mean, I've had uh, requests to do stuff from Red, uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption, um, God, um, you know, uh, you know how I feel about The Last of Us these days. Uncharted, uh, Resident Evil, uh, Doom, Quake, Half Life. Uh, there's so many. So uh, we'll continue to work on that, and of course, another Blender challenge. And I hope that you'll get involved with that. So, uh, if you like the series and if you like the video, the final results then uh, it would be very helpful if you like the video. Leave me a comment if you feel inclined. Subscribe if you haven't, of course. And we'll see you next time. Take care.